one of the oldest civilizations in the world, India is a mosaic of multicultural experiences with a rich heritage and countless attractions. Although India is a one country, there are striking differences between the North and the South. Think of India as Europe, where each state is a different country yet sharing similar democratic values. Each state also preserves its own regional language, cuisine, attire, customs and artistic expressions. North India is generally defined by the Hindi speaking belt of Uttar Pradesh, Jammu and Kashmir, Uttarakhand, Himachal Pradesh, Rajasthan, Delhi, Punjab, Haryana and many more. Where South India includes the states of Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Karnataka and Kerala. From weather to architecture, let's explore top 5 differences between North and South India. Namaste everyone, welcome to another fascinating video from Brahmaj. Today our topic of interest is cultural differences between North and South India. Before we get into the topic, if you are new to the channel, then please subscribe and hit that bell icon. Okay, let's begin. Climate and Weather If you look at the map of India, you can see that North India is landlocked, while South India is surrounded by Arabian Sea, Bay of Bengal and Indian Ocean. Generally, Weather in the north is cool and dry in the winters and hot in the summers, with monsoon season from June until mid-September. Not surprisingly, the Himalayas plays a dominant role in the North India's weather pattern. On the other hand, South India is more tropical with warmer temperatures throughout the year. There is also a higher humidity that makes it feel considerably warmer. In the south, the winters tend to be driest, with relatively low rainfall between November and April, though Kerala has a secondary monsoon from mid-October through mid-November. Languages The majority of the South Indians speak at least one of the four major Dravidian languages, Telugu, Tamil, Malayalam and Kannada. These languages evolved nearly 5,000 years ago and are presently spoken by more than 240 million people. Do you know Dravidian languages are unrelated to languages of other known Indo-European linguistic families? The languages spoken by the North Indians belong to the Indo-Aryan family, which is closely related to the modern European languages primarily Hindi, Urdu and Punjabi. Another difference is that North Indian languages are inflectional in nature, while South Indian languages are agglutinative in nature. Okay, now let's talk about the most important topic, food. When it comes to food, South Indians love their rice and lentils, both as standalone dishes and ingredients to prepare items like dosa, idli and vada. Since India has prominent coastline in the south, you will find more coconuts, fish, prawns and seafood. Dishes are frequently cooked with coconut oil and served on a banana leaf. With abundant coffee plantations, Tamil Nadu in South India is also a region of coffee drinkers. And the neighboring state of Kerala is well known for the tea plantations. But if you like your food spicy and heavy, then head to North India. Unlike South India, instead of rice, the staple food is wheat and almost every meal includes flatbread. Across the north, you will find thick curry made from creamy gravies and spicy tandoor and deep fried samosas. In North India, when rice is served, it is usually of the delicate basmati variety. 
India has all sorts of regional cuisine, though North Indian food typically gets far more attention outside of the subcontinent than the North Indian food. If you like your food spicy, meaty and heavy, you will love North India. But remember, 40% of the Indian population are vegetarian. Temple Architecture There are three classifications of Hindu temple architecture. The Nagar or Indo-Aryan style in the north. The Dravida or southern style. The Vesara or mixed style. Generally, Hindu temples in the North India are considerably smaller compared to South India. Many North Indian temples or mandir are nestled in places with natural beauty like mountain top, river banks, caves or gardens. In South India, the temple gateways are adorned with a large towering gopura that leads to a smaller interior tower to the temple. In the north, it's the exact opposite. The shapes of the towers also vastly differ with northern architecture peaking like a mountain and southern design built like a giant pyramid. Additionally, the South Indian temples follow a fairly strict Agama culture that defines the worship, traditions, rituals and protocols. If you want to learn more about the traditional Indian temple architecture, then please watch my video on the temple construction. The link is in the description. Dressing Styles There is a huge difference in dressing styles of North and South Indians. In reference to more traditional attire, sari is worn by women across the country. However, the salwar kameez or suridar is common in North India. Men prefers to wear pant shirts or kurtas. On the other hand, men in South prefer to wear dhoti and for women, sari is a preferred attire. The sparkling white dhoti, the desired attire for men in the South, is not popular in the northern parts of India. You have to keep in mind that this dress code is not strictly followed. Every region has a different style in which women wear their sari. Dance and Music The classical music of India can be widely divided into Hindustani from the north and Carnatic from the south. The Hindustani music is highly influenced by the foreign invaders and divided into different styles. The Carnatic Sangeet or the Carnatic music exhibit regional influences and not divided by styles. The musical instruments also vary based on the regions while Sittar, Sarangi, Sandur and Tabala are very popular in the north. Mridangam, Kuttuvadhyam, Violin, Veena and Jalatarangam are favored in the south. The dance form of the north like Kathak were influenced by the invasion of the Muslim rulers while dance forms of the south have maintained their originality. Though the costume worn by the artists of north and south are different, they are all gorgeously colorful and bright. Some popular dance forms in the North India are Bhangra, Rasalila, Nati and Kathak. In the South, Bharatanatyam, Kuchipudi, Kadagali and Mohiniyattam. India is incredibly diverse with both North and South India offering amazing cultural experiences and natural beauty. India has got majestic Himalayas in the North and the vast Indian Ocean to the South. Rajasthan's royalty versus the serenity of Kerala's backwaters. Though there's a wide difference to talk about, but you should enjoy the enchanted beauty of diversity. The mixed cultural celebrations will make India to stand out among other countries. So, 
That's all I have for today. If you find this video useful, then please like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell icon. Okay, I'll be back with another video soon. Till then, Jai Hind, Jai Bharat.